What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time seeing me, my name is Nathaniel Key, but you can call me Nate. I'm a mouthpiece for the Lord and I'm just on here by obedience. And today's video is called, God is changing your identity, okay? God is changing your identity, okay? And this word came from a vision that God gave me about actually he get, i wrote it down he gave me the vision january 13th 2022 so last year january he gave me this vision and um i'm gonna say i prayed before i got on but i'm gonna say a quick prayer then we're gonna get right into the message so dear spirit of the living god we thank you so much for this day father god we thank you for resurrection sunday we thank you for sending your son jesus to die on the cross for us father god and I thank you for everything that you're going to do for us this year, Father God. I ask, Holy Spirit, that you just make this video, all of you and none of me, Father God. Make my spirit decrease, Father God, so that you can increase, Father God. So this message can get directly to who it needs to get to. And that it just, that whatever needs to be said is said. And whatever that doesn't need to be said, it doesn't need to, that doesn't need to be said, Father God. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay, so... Okay, so um, about a year ago when I decided to really walk with Jesus, um, he he gave me a vision. So I um, I basically, I made it a decision to stop doing what I used to do, stop um, following my own heart's desires, and I really started to walk with Christ. And he gave me this vision of, okay, so basically, I want to explain a vision so basically it's not a dream so you're not even fully asleep so it's like right before you go to sleep god will give you a scene of something okay and um and since it's a vision it's something supernatural it's really quick but it's long okay i don't know how to explain that it's really quick but it's long enough for you to um see what is going on and when god gave me this vision i'm sorry guys let me scoot back Ugh. When God gave me this vision, I um I've had this vision written down and I always think about it uh about a year ago and I didn't know that it was gonna be a prophetic word to release to somebody. I didn't know this vision was prophetic. I thought this vision was just for me and I thought it was just about me and my relationship with God. But um he just gave me confirmation yesterday that this now I can actually put this out there. So um, about a year ago, um, God gave me a vision of a car wash. And so the vision, so in the vision, I was standing in front of a car wash and it wasn't a regular type of car wash. It was like a, um, it was like a conveyor belt as if like, you know, if you're in the grocery store or something, you put your items on the conveyor belt and it goes, that was, it was this type of car wash. So I was able to stand in front of the conveyor belt, but it was part of the car wash. I was able to stand in front of it. And um, uh, mind you, this um, conveyor belt was very narrow, okay? And I pray that you guys have spiritual ears to catch this vision. So, in, so like I was saying, so in the vision, I was standing in front of a narrow conveyor belt, but it was like a car wash type of um, thing, okay? So, um, and as I was standing there, um, a man walked up to me, okay? And this man had a hat on. I couldn't see his face. I couldn't see nothing. And um, I, had, I had my ID in my hand, okay? I had my, uh, I think it was my driver license. It was some type of identification and I handed it to the man, okay? And the man threw my ID onto the conveyor belt. And I was like, I was so shocked. I didn't know what to do. And my and my um, ID was just on the conveyor belt, just, you know, going through the car wash, okay? And the person, I couldn't see their face, but I saw a smile on their face, okay? And then the vision ended, okay? So, um, whew, Jesus. Okay, so he wants me to, um, Holy Spirit wants me to, um, give the scriptures he gave me, and then he wants me to explain the vision. So, um, the scripture I have for today is Ephesians 2, 
verse 10, which says, For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew. He has created us, us anew in Christ Jesus, so we can do the good things he planned for us long ago, okay? And he also gave me Psalms 139, um, verse 24, which says, Point out anything in me that offends you, and lend me, a, and lend me along the path of everlasting life, okay? So in this vision, that man represented Jesus, okay? This man was... Um, I don't, I don't know why, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep going because it was a spirit of doubt in me that just got abolished. Thank you, Holy Spirit. But yeah, so the man in my dream represent I mean, the man in my vision represented Jesus. Okay, represented the Holy Spirit, represented God. And this conveyor belt, the car wash, represented the narrow path. Okay, and um, in my dream. I mean, in the vision, I willingly gave my identification to the Lord, okay? I willingly submitted myself to the Lord, okay? And that's when he threw my identity onto the conveyor belt and um, basically washing me. Uh, basically, it's a um, symbolism of being washed clean, okay? And... Um, Holy Spirit help me. Okay, and then the fact that I was so shocked and I was so like, I, I was kind of offended represents um, represents that I, I was like, hold on, Holy Spirit help me. Holy Spirit help me. Okay, the fact that I was so shocked it represents that the path, the narrow path to righteousness is going to be, it's not going to be shocking, but it's going to be a kind of moment. It's going to be like, I never did this before. This is new to me, okay? It's going to be something new for you, okay? And um, I actually, uh, I'm so sorry. I'm on here on obedience, so I'm sorry if my words get trampled up. But I'm just going to read what um, God um, had me write down. So, Holy Spirit wants to let you know today, whoever this message is for, okay, because you were led to this video, you are not here by accident, okay? Holy Spirit wants you to know that God is changing your identity, and there is nothing you can do to stop him. Once you answered the calling and accepted his son, Jesus Christ, as your Lord and Savior, you accepted and decided to receive the new life Jesus has for you. When God changes your identity, everything in your life will change, even the people connected to you. God said you understand the seriousness of the narrow path and why you must stay on it. But God understands, also understands how the enemy works and knows you may be tempted to stray off that path. And he wants to let you know that he will always be there with you to guide you back. Because even though you may stray off the path, you're always thinking of him, and that's why he will never leave you or forsake you. If sometimes you stray off the path, I'm sorry, guys. I uh, scrambling up my uh, notes. Okay. And the re so the reason why he's always gonna guide you back to the narrow path is because. No matter what, even if you stray up the, even if you stray up that path, you're always thinking about God. Okay, you're always thinking about God. So this is what he meant by when he said, "I'm going to change our identity, no matter what." Okay, because you were willing. Okay, you were willing to uh, make a change. You were willing to say, "I don't want to do this no more. I don't want to be this person no more. I want to do something different. I want to be something different." And God saw that, and He sees it. And, and he said that you are willing, okay? So, because you are willing, whatever you started or stopped doing for the kingdom of God, not only shifted your future, but shifted your identity, okay? Because you are willing, whatever you started or stopped doing for the kingdom of God, not only shifted your future, but shifted your identity, okay? Um... Holy Spirit, 
God wants me to say this right now. Um, if you haven't been baptized, go get baptized. Um, and then also there's um, there's like a spiritual baptism going on right now. And that's kind of what the vision also represented. It also represented a spiritual baptism. Okay. And basically God sent me God sent me here to let you know that this identity change that you are allowing God to do, okay, because God gives us free will. You are allowing God to change your identity. And for this, God is going to open that door, okay? I don't know what it is, but you do. God is going to open that door, okay? God is going to open that door of breakthrough to your breakthrough. God is going to open that financial breakthrough, that door to that financial breakthrough. He's going to open that door to for that family breakthrough. He's going to open that door for that job breakthrough. This door, The door that is going to be open for your submission and your willingness for God changing your identity, it says breakthrough, <laughs> Okay, God just gave me that analogy in my head. The door that he's about to get ready to open says breakthrough. Okay, so um, continue to submit to him. Continue to be a willing vessel. Okay, and um, like me right now, I'm just being a willing vessel. I'm just giving this, this message to whoever needs to hear it. It doesn't matter what I look like. It doesn't matter what I sound like. Um. All that it matters is that you take this back to God, okay? Take this back to God. If you, if you, if for those that this word is for, you're gonna know for sure it's your word, okay? But if you're unsure, take this back to God. But if you're unsure, it's probably not your word, okay? Because that first voice is the voice of God. That second voice is not, okay? I feel like somebody needs to hear that right now too, so. But um, I just want to I just want to personally say something um, that good stuff. Kudos to you for um, willingly letting God change your identity. And like he's saying right now is that no matter what, okay, no matter what happened, he will always guide you back to that narrow path because he knows that you're willing and you're submitting to him, okay? And he's not going to let you take on all that temptation he's not gonna continue to let it happen okay he's going to be the savior that he is scoop you up and put you back on that path so for whoever this bitch is for stay strong and remain steadfast and god's got you all right catch you guys later